The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com. We're going to be conducting a performance evaluation on the NMMA certified ESA 45 from Croatian manufacturer Monikus. Placing stability and ease of handling at the forefront, this custom downy style cruiser made her debut in the U.S. just this year, and we were looking forward to having a closer look. Let's begin at the helm. Elevated 6 inches from the salon deck, Monikus went with a center mounted helm for the ESA, which provides better all around visibility. Vertically mounted is a single 15 inch Garmin MFD. To each side of the main display are Yanmar engine displays with their respective start stops to the outsides, actuated via a security fob. Just above are the water, fuel, and waste gauges, and just below are accessory switches. Trim tab controls are to the bottom right. The custom 14 inch wooden wheel is vertically mounted to a fixed base. From lock to lock, we counted seven and a half turns. The engine controls are mounted off to starboard at a 15 degree angle. The bow and stern thruster controls are just the port of the wheel. A flexible red chart light is also the port. We'd like to see the top of the console fitted with some type of anti-glare finish and perhaps a compass. The adjustable helm chair is finished in Alcantara leather and has a diamond stitched pattern. A footrest is below. A stainless steel grab rail runs along the starboard side of the helm chair. The port side companion bench is also upholstered in Alcantara leather. There's storage beneath and shelf space just forward of the bench. The main breaker and battery switch panel is concealed behind a port side cabinet. Mind the step when transitioning to and from this area. On the starboard side and just after the TV are the emergency engine shutoffs. Just forward of the TV are the boat's quick gyro stabilizer controls and VTE generator controls, both which we'd like to see at the helm. The team at Monikus tell us that the same group that worked on Bugatti and Maserati cars also produced the ESA's windscreen. Tinted and wrapping around it provides a panoramic visibility. While looking aft through the side pane, we could practically see the transom. The 45 comes standard with an electric sunroof. The sunroof is tinted. In addition, there are manual sunshades above the helm and companion bench. We access the side decks via two 8-inch steps to either side of the aft deck, width ranges from 13 inches to 20. Stainless steel lifelines have an average height of 2.5 feet, tow rail height is 5.5 inches, and cap rail width is 5 inches. 9-inch midship cleats are to both sides. The ground tackle was neatly configured atop the boat's teak decking. Road lockers are to port and starboard. Two 14-inch cleats sit just forward of the Lumar windlass, which is controlled locally or from the helm. Stainless steel cleats sit atop the transom gunnels to port and starboard alongside roller chocks. The engine compartment is accessed via two hatches in the aft deck. The underside of the hatches are finished with soundproofing and supported by gas assist struts. Of course, the focal point inside being the twin Yamar diesel 440 horsepower engines. Mounted on the inside of each engine are local start stop controls. Looking aft, there's a 13K quick gyro stabilizer to center, and just before that, engine C strainers are easily accessed. Fully forward, both of the engine's fuel water separators are mounted to the forward bulkhead. There's a VTE generator and Webasto AC unit as well. The ESA 45 has an overall length of 45 feet 4 inches, a beam of 13 feet 8 inches, and a draft of 3 feet 9 inches. With full fuel and two crew members, we had an estimated test weight of 23,751 pounds. With 10 mile per hour winds and choppy conditions, we reached an overall top speed of 31.3 miles per hour at 3180 RPM. Best economic speed was measured at 26.4 miles per hour, where the 27 gallon per hour fuel burn gave us a range of 162 statute miles, all while holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's total fuel capacity. The ESA 45 has a freeboard height of 4 feet at the stern, 4 feet 2 inches midships, and 5 feet 4 inches at the bow. The ESA 45 handles well compared to boats in her class and was especially smooth during waves. Crossing our camber boat's wake wasn't any big chore and the gyro kept her pitch and roll in check. Turns were sedate coming around 180 degrees in 40 seconds of cruise power. When it came time to head in, access to the slip was narrow and since we were backing in we spun around her axis with ease. The pilings in front of the dock were closely spaced and once alongside the dock we nudged over with short bursts of the thrusters for an easy tie up. With her warm tones, natural wood finish, and general arrangement, the ESA 45 is a welcome addition to the already timeless Downey style boats. Since new owners were involved from the original design phase, every detail of the ESA is finished to the customer's needs and wants. As for our experience, she performed well and possesses the comforts that we've come to expect in a boat of this size range. She's also comfortable to be aboard whether for an afternoon cruise or multi-day getaway, but that's all covered in another video. Be sure to look for it. 
For now, this is our full sea trial and performance evaluation of the ESA 45 from Monicus. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.